Good morning. How's everyone doing? It's Charlene. We were having a snowstorm the other day. Um, so I got to go to Ross. I'm going to show you what I picked up. Of course, they have all of their spring collection in the stores now. They're doing a wonderful turnover. The shelves are looking a lot fuller. Even though Ross is like one of my favorite places to shop, sometimes their shelves can be pretty empty. So I was happy to see lots of supplies. And I found an adorable, adorable, adorable set that I took home with me. And um, I only got one thing because I tend to shop mindfully, you know, so I just don't want to pick up a bunch of stuff. Y'all know I'm cleaning out my garage, so I'm reusing a lot of what I have as much as I can. And when I can't, then I will go to the stores and find what I'm looking for. So anyway, that's how I spent my snow day. I heard it was snowing like in California and Las Vegas. This is crazy, y'all. I don't know what's going on with Mother Nature. Uh-uh. Mm-hmm. I'm drinking some great coffee. Excuse me for swallowing so loudly. Aren't these cute? <laughs> I just had to show them. They're so cute. So I'm doing a bunch of DIYs. This is my herb pack. This came from the Dollar Store. It's the Dollar Tree doilies and the Dollar Tree string the jute string and i simply tied it into a packet with some butcher's paper that i got from the target dollar spot and i made this little herb pack to hang on my coat rack in the kitchen and i just have a little bunch of um cilantro and here is the dollar store flower pots the mini ones i'm going to sprout some garlic cloves in them and i just wrapped it with some fabric that i had and set it on my window shield window shield <laughs> window sill with some supplies that i got from the dollar store and my vintage cake servers that i'm using as garden tools and then i just stuck a few sprigs of the plants that i have in my front yard into the planters for now very shabby very simple very easy the ribbon i've had for years i found it in the garage and i'm like oh these would be perfect around those dollar tree little mini pots so for my next diy i simply took a book from the dollar store that i've had forever and i'm tracing out a small circle and i repeat that pattern and then i cut it out i got smart at some point and folded the paper so i can cut out more at one time and then that went a lot quicker for me and I simply folded the flowers. So I took three circles to make one flower. I knew that I wanted to make a mini flower for my Valentine's heart banner that I did that's downstairs in front of my shabby chic hutch. So I just wanted to take a little bit of the heart out by adding the paper flowers. And with the paper flowers, I have um, an old necklace that my aunt was throwing away, so I took it and I actually put one pearl inside each little paper flower, and it just adds such a beautiful vintage flair. Speaking of vintage, my hutch is over 30 years old. It was on the street. My neighbor was giving it away because her mom was moving, and her mom had had it, you know, for all of those years, and then I've had it for five years, and I repainted it took the doors off, etc., etc., and I love the history of that. And she always gets so tickled when I remind her I have that hutch. Um, you know, it wasn't her style, and she probably couldn't even see any purpose or how to repurpose it, but it fits perfectly in my home, and I really love it. And then, um, like I told y'all, I'm cleaning out stuff, so I managed to find two old dessert prints that I had from Kirkland's to go along with my Kirkland's mirror, and I found my vintage candle holder in the garage. And I found this great urn that I'm going to do a wonderful Easter um, topiary, probably for the front door. And I've been crafting so much, y'all. I'm down to using my glitter sticks. <laughs> That's how much work I've been doing, but it's fun. But y'all, I painted the ceiling because when we replaced the light fixture, it was patched. So I, had to re I had to paint the ceiling. So I mixed up some stuff I found in the garage. I mixed up three colors and found 
and somehow came up with this light sagey green color and it works you know i didn't have to pay money for it it was free and now everything looks nice and clean but can i tell y'all when you start going up that high you're gonna see all kinds of dirt i was like oh my god so today i'm only gonna make a wreath and then i'm washing walls down so i'm eating keto mainly so i made some guacamole and a omelet for my lunch and dinner today and yeah so i got up and now it's time to resume the housework it really never ends i mean seriously it just doesn't end but i mean because it's like three o'clock in the morning i'm painting my banister <laughs> but the the thing about it when you walk into the home everything is nice and refresh and new you just smile at how pretty the house looks so it's all worth it y'all okay i will see y'all next time have a great weekend